Hello my little ones. Today I have the mini lesson of the letter D. Anita and Juanita will help us with this. They will help us with words beginning with the letter D and we'll be using these words in sentences. This is the letter D. It sounds like this. D, D, D. D has a dolphin. D, D, D. Now let's take a look at words beginning with the letter D. Dog, d, d, dog. Dinosaur, d, d, dinosaur. Dress, d, d, dress. Now you read them. Dog, dinosaur, dress. Good job. Are you ready to show what you know? Remember, the letter D sounds like this. D, d, d. Listen to each word. Put your thumbs up if the word begins with D. Put your thumbs down if the word does not begin with the letter D. Can you do this? Of course you can. Let's begin. The first one. Door. D, D, door. What do you think? Door. It does begin with letter D. Next. Vase. V, v, vase. What do you think? No, it does not begin with letter D. Next. Pencil. P, p, pencil. What do you think? Look. Does not want to show us. Hold on. Does not begin with letter D. Next, drum, d, d, drum. It does begin with letter D. Last one, duck, d, d, duck. What do you think? It does begin with letter D. So there are three words beginning with D. Door, drum, and duck. Good job. Now, it's time to read and write sentences using words with D. A sentence should be a complete thought, begin with a capital letter, have spaces between words, and have a period at the end. Remember, here we'll be reading, and in the classroom or at home, you can write your own sentences or copy the ones we have here. Number one, we have a dog, so she say something about the dog. The dog wags its tail. Read it with me. The dog wags its tail. Good. Number two is going to talk about a dinosaur. Ready. I see the big dinosaur. Read it with me. I see the big dinosaur. Good. Number three is talking about a dress. Good. The dress has a bow in front. Ready? The dress has a bow in front. Okay. How? Since we already saw three sentences, we read those sentences, we saw it had a capital letter, spaces between the words, and a period at the end, and it made a complete um, thought. Now, let's see which sentence is correct. Look at the dolphin. The three sentences are going to talk about the dolphin, okay? I want you to look at number one. It says, the dolphin. Hmm. Had a complete thought. Capital letter, good. Space between the word, but it's not a complete thought. Number two, the dolphin swimming. Okay, something's missing there, and it's not a complete thought. Number three, the dolphin is swimming. What do you think? 
Okay, do you think number one is correct? Well, let's see. Let's check. Oh, again, okay, doesn't want to show us. It's not correct. It just says the dolphin. Nothing else. Not a complete thought. Number two. Is it correct or is it wrong? It's wrong. Why? The dolphin swimming. It's not a complete thought. There's no period at the end. It does have a space between the words and a capital letter. Now, if these two are wrong, what does it tell you about number three? That it's what? That it is correct. I don't know why it's taking me long. Let's be patient, okay? Here we go. It is correct. Why? The dolphin is swimming. Complete thought. Capital letter. Space between the words. And a period at the end. Well, thank you, my little ones. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. And like I tell my kids every day, let's keep learning. See you later, alligator.